Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. I am glad you joined me today. I am going to show you a quick 10 or 12 things I got at the dump for free this week. My dump is awesome. You can take and leave whatever you want on the good table. And then I'm gonna jump in and we are going to flip some of this trash into treasure. So let's get started. First thing is brand new pear shaped cutting board, wooden cutting board. So cute. This, oh, I love it. A mini rolling pin, two bread pans, a galvanized little bucket, a wonderful wood bowl. Then I also got this little horse, I think it's from the dollar store. Yeah, or no, wood pile, it's from um, Hobby Lobby. So it's just a wooden horse and it has a broken tail which is no problem for me. I am actually going to work on that today. And then two of these cute little, I don't know what they came out of, but cute little um, wood drawers. So I am going to fix these up and do something with them. Got a eight by 10, I think, picture frame mat. Can always use a new mat. And then I will insert the three things I got for my granddaughter. This beautiful baby walker that is almost brand new. A swing that we can hang outside in the yard on a tree. And some kind of a VTech toy that makes all kinds of noise and <laughs> animal sounds. I'm going to go ahead and start flipping some of these items and turning this trash into something beautiful so we can keep it out of the landfill and hopefully somebody else can enjoy it. So I am going to start with that pear-shaped wooden cutting board, removing the leather strap and taking my Annie Sloan linen white chalk paint that I also found at the dump earlier in the year. And I am just going to give this one good coat to cover it um, in order to be able to use a transfer that I have. And while I have the white paint out, I am going to go ahead and coat the horse as well since it is just a raw wood piece so that I have a backdrop to work with on that. And so once I have given them both one good coat of paint, then I'm going to let them dry and move on. I'm going to be using the Redesign Sweet Apricot Transfer I have used a few times before. And I am going to have some um, similar free printables if you'd like to do something like this, maybe but decoupage instead. So on this one here, it is a pair. So I thought it would be perfect for this. And I am just going to go ahead and trim around that pair. And I do want some of the words as well. So I'm going to have to piece this transfer in order to be able to use the rest of the transfer on another project sometime in the future. Transferring that on and then I am taking an extra piece just to fill in the side that was missing. And then I am going to go ahead and cut the second pair out a little closer this time because if you're overlaying one item on top of another item um, you want to make sure that you can see the one that you've already put on now the darker green color will come through a little bit on the clearer white um, pair but i think that will be fine i'm going to use a little bit of the uh, antiquing wax over this so hopefully that will not be as obvious and then i want to cut out the word farm so that it will read fruit farm and then after that i did not really care for the blank white space above the word fruit and i had a just an edge that um, i thought would work perfect for that giving it more finished look as if it were the top of the pear i added that and then i am taking some antiquing wax that i had already mixed with some clear wax to go around the transfer which will protect it as well as giving the project more of a vintagey look and i personally just love that look if that isn't your style certainly you don't have to uh, add this step at all and then i am going to reattach the leather 
loop that came with it so that it can be hung if that's something that the person who ends up with this would like to do with it. And I think that it came out very cute considering it was something that was going to be thrown in the trash. So that is number one. Now the free graphics will be attached to a video at the end of this video that you will be able to access and you can print those on tissue paper or rice paper and decoupage them on your projects. They are very similar fruit and actually in some cases even more beautiful. And this week I am doing this as a third Thursday thrift flip <laughs> challenge uh, with uh, Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth used to be Southern Gmore Girls has a new name for her channel not uh, on the top of the tip of my tongue so I will put that in the description. And also a playlist. Uh, they're going to have a co-host as well and then there's going to be a playlist of anybody and everybody who has joined in. They enjoy my video and then when you're done go over to the playlist and enjoy their video. Now on to number two, that horse is now dry. And I have this stencil that I had bought on Amazon a couple of years ago for a different project. And I decided that I just simply wanted to take some Java chalk paint and it's kind of a brown color and just go ahead with a stencil brush and um, stencil the word saddles. And then once I had that, there is a, a year on this that I thought would be a good idea to add to the bottom just to give this the look of maybe an old-fashioned sign that they used to have years ago hanging outside of an establishment. And then I went ahead and just took some of that um, offloading what was on my brush to do a paint distress or dry brush on the edges of the horse all the way around. And now, as I had indicated, the tail was missing. Now I'm a spinner, so I have a lot of this roving from a llama. And so I just pulled a piece of that off and just sort of bunched up the end and added some hot glue and just went ahead and glued that to the edge. I could braid it, I thought about that, but I thought it looked cute just as it is. So that is number one and number two. And now we are going to move on to those two drawers. Those two drawers were pretty filthy, so it took me quite a while to get them disinfected. But once they were good and clean, the creamy white paint under them, which looks like a latex, was actually in pretty good shape. So I pulled out all of my different napkins because I thought I'd like to do a decoupage uh, on this. And a lot of them were more cottage style, um, very beautiful, but it just wasn't quite exactly what I was looking for. And for those people, very farmhouse, traditional farmhouse, I have this look here, um, which I have put on some projects in the past. But I love this napkin, and I've been waiting for just the perfect project to put it on. So I decided today was that day. And I went ahead and just grabbed the edge of this and then gently pulled and sure enough, there was another one. Um, so I very carefully removed the second one so that I could have just that sheer piece of the top. Because if you decoupage the two pieces on there, then eventually that will the colored pretty part will come off and you'll end up with just the white background. If you are new to my channel coming over from Lisa at our shabby cottage you will have seen her do this trick a number of times where you take a paintbrush and water and you go around the decoupage item that you like to use i prefer rice paper to napkins she uses napkins a lot but with rice paper i can print whatever i would like and so that means that the options are unlimited and um, a napkin is great it's quick it's easy if you have it and if you can find some that you like um, but if you have some rice paper or even some tissue paper then you can get some free graphics online at graphics fairy or any number of free graphics places and print out any design that you like now once i got the piece that i liked i went ahead and put that where i thought it would look nice on the drawer and then just took some um 
decoupage medium. I'm using Mod Podge. You can use school glue. Um, you can use any number of DIY products or other more expensive products. But honestly, I have no issue with Mod Podge. It works fit great for me. I happen to like a matte finish. Um, and they come in many. I think there's like 15 different kinds of Mod Podge. So you can certainly pick the, the ones that you like. Just go ahead and add some at the bottom and then over the top to seal that in. And don't worry about the edges because you are able to go ahead and sand that off after your project is dry. Now that is one way, using the paintbrush in water to get the, the napkin torn. And on the second one, I'm just going to go ahead and find the part of the napkin that I like and put the Mod Podge on the bottom and on the top without tearing any part of the napkin at all uh, until I absolutely need to. And that is another way of doing it, especially if the entire part of your napkin is sufficient for the project that you're working on and there's no need uh, to make it smaller. I do like the rougher edges, so I do prefer to sand the edges once it's completely dry um, to give me that look. And uh, also you can use a orbital sander. I just happen to like actually just a nail uh, file that you can get even at the dollar store. That works fine. Tissue obviously very easy to, to sand off. Now, because my first and second project already had words, I did not add any words to this, although it would be really cute, depending upon where you're going to put it, to put a hang tag on it, or to put some stamps with uh, maybe the word seeds and uh, stakes for your garden, or cotton balls and Q-tips for your bathroom or any number of ideas uh, in box out box if you're putting it in your office so they just just so versatile to do something like this simple project so if you ever do get rid of a small piece of furniture make sure you keep the drawers because they oftentimes uh, can be used for um, or just a really great organization or even decorative piece you could put florals in this you could put it you know the floral arrangement you could put jewelry you could keep your cards your greeting cards uh just give it as a gift add a add a knob i thought there was a lot of things that you could do i could have painted the base of the box i'm keeping it natural because i like it with um the rest of the vignette that i'm going to be putting it with but um certainly you could paint the drawers maybe in a raspberry color to match or in a pale green or in white uh, in this particular case i very rarely decorate with any kind of red um, but i thought this looked very pretty for this spring um, and so you'll have to let me know what you think oh, i would love to know which of these projects today were your favorite and I want to make sure that you have hit subscribe and hit the bell for future videos. I have an amazing one coming up with these beautiful lovebirds that you see here. Now, don't forget to check out the playlist and watch the video at the end here for the free graphics if you're interested in doing a similar project to the one with the fruit. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.